Well, if uh, you've been to the grocery store or any kind of shopping center in the last couple weeks, you know it is Girl Scout cookie season. The Girl Scouts River Valleys is currently made up of more than 2,800 girls in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and down in Iowa. Since 1976, there's been a museum in St. Paul, North St. Paul, that's collected more than 150,000 artifacts from Midwest Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts over the last century. Lauren Andrego takes you there in today's Must See Museum. We're at the North Star Museum of Boy Scouting and Girl Scouting in North St. Paul. Bonna Cher volunteers here at the museum. Can you take me on a little tour? I would love to. This is a picture of Juliet Gordon Lowe, the founder. She was very involved with the community. Juliet started with Girl Guides in Great Britain. She taught girls way, way before it was a thing to do, to, to learn everyday skills. This is what they wore, and they put their badges on their sleeves. Have you ever seen the movie, The Golden Eaglet? Juliet Lowell produced it okay. back in 1919, and it was shown in theaters as an advertisement for Girl Scouts. And this is probably the uniform. A lot of the girls wore this kind of a uniform. Stay at home recreation on a war bond budget. Well, yeah. These are real lessons that these girls are learning about life. It was during the war. Dad's brothers were at war and mothers were home, but that's where the women went to work. 1932 to 1944, again, they're still putting their badges on their sleeves. This is a mariner. Oh. These are the girls that wanted to learn how to sail a boat. And it's surprising how many mariners are in Minnesota. Girl guides from the different countries, their uniforms. Girl Scouts and Girl Guides are in a lot of different countries. They're in almost every country in the world. We had our first troop in Minnesota, I think in about 1916. Kurt is here with me now and he's going to show me a little bit of camping through the decades for boys and Girl Scouts. Should we go in? Yep, let's go on in. All right. The two organizations, there's a way to camp and they figured it out, they trade back and forth. Part of the, the reason both organizations end up founded is concerns of what was going on as the cities were growing at the turn of the 20th century, and that the adults felt they were losing this contact with the old way. This is a Girl Scout tent, and the directions for setting up the tent are why the shoe is there. Because you laid the tent out, you tied a shoe onto this rope, and you threw it over a branch, pulled it down, staked the thing, and then your tent, you could pull your tent up and tie you it off. You created like a pulley system. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And so yeah, the, the shoe was an integral part of getting that tent put up. Girl Scouts has taken me out of my comfort zone. It's a safe place for them to uh, become leaders. Sure. I mean, we've had some very prominent Girl Scouts in the public eye. We've had secretaries of state, astronauts, first ladies, actresses. The famous. list goes on. Yeah, we're all inclusive, handicapped girls. Doesn't matter race, religion, or anything, you know. And all girls are welcome. All girls are welcome. And you can schedule tours at the North Star Museum by appointment Monday through Friday. They're also open Saturdays from 10 to 2.